Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is our lesson 10 on Postman tool concepts. So as you all know, in my previous video, I have covered some of the topics related to how can you create scripts in Postman and also how can you create tests in Postman. I would recommend you guys to please do visit my previous lesson, lesson 9 part 2 before you watch this particular session. So in today's session, I'm going to cover how can we perform debug in Postman automation tool. So how can you perform debug by using console, Postman console by in Postman tool. So this is what I'm going to cover in this lesson. So let's go ahead with the concepts that I'm going to cover in this lesson. Okay. The first one is how to debug in Postman. That's, got, that's what I'm going to teach you. And then how to open Postman console in the windows. And also how can you analyze the information in Postman console so that you can perform debug very effectively. And then how can you clear the logs from the console? And then what are all the different functions that are available to print the logs in the console system? Okay, I'm going to explain all these things in this particular lesson. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on these concepts. So now let's jump onto the system and see how can we perform debug by using Postman tool. Okay, so this is my Postman tool. Okay, in my previous session, I have explained you guys the concepts of how to script in Postman. So scripting in prerequisite tab, that means before you execute any API, if you want to perform some actions, you can write the actions in the form of scripts by using snippets. That's what I have explained you guys. Okay. And also, how can you write tests in Postman by using snippets? Right. And how to write tests by your own by using Java language. Right. So all these concepts I have already explained you. So I would recommend you guys to visit my previous video. Okay. So in this session, as we are concentrating on debugging skills, right? How to debug in Postman. So we will be debugging in Postman by using console option. So how can we, how to open the console in the window, right? This is my Postman tool at the bottom left corner, right? If you see, I have online, I have find and replace button and also I have a console button, right? You need to click on console option. This will open a new console window, right? So this is how you can open your console window. And then how to analyze the information in console? Let me show some example, okay? So this is my request message where I am getting a single user details the user called ID 8, right? When I send this request on console, you, you see, I got the response here. On console, what I can see is I sent a request message of this and then which is a get function. And here I have my request header. And then this is all my request header information. And this is all my response header information. And this is all my response body. If you see, this is my response body, right? And also, if you see in the URL, in the API endpoint, I'm using a variable called URL, correct? The variable value, I want to see whether the variable value has been sent correctly or not. How? If you go to your console, if you see in the variable, I'm passing the value as HTTPS resrec, sorry, recres.in, 
if you see here in the console i can see the value is being sent as https colon double slash request dot in and then hard coder value api users and then id2 what is the id2 this is again a variable what is that it sent it sent 8 in the variable call id2 it sent 8 that is correct that means i can analyze my variables and the corresponding variable values is being sent correctly or not correct so that is one advantage and also if i want to push some additional information let's say this is my test what is my test my test is to validate if the response of my single user has a value of 8 or not if you see here the json path i'm specified so i explained you about the json paths how to declare the json paths in my previous videos okay so you can visit more visit my previous videos so in this particular json path whether i have id of 8 or not that's what i am validating let's say i want to log this information how console dot log what information i want to pass the id is return the id is returned as 8 correctly let's say i want to pass this so before i run this i want to clear the console how can i clear the console at here in the right side corner you have a button called clear so see now the entire console is cleared there are no logs available now let me run this api request again now this time you should have an additional information called the id is returned as 8 correctly see here apart from this request I'm also logging an information, the ID is returned as 8 correctly. What if we want to log a warning message? Console.warn the ID might not be correct. Okay, let me clear the logs again by using clear button and run this again. If you see here, now there is a warning message called the ID might not be correct. Right? Okay, let's say now I'm actually expecting a value of 8. Sorry, the value of 7, but it is actually returning me a value 8. Correct? So now I want to send an information error i want to send an error to console the id printing is wrong printing as 8 instead of 7 let's say this one okay now let's clear the logs and then send it so if you see here, now I can see there is an information, but there is an error also, right? The ID printing is wrong, printing as 8 instead of 7. That means, so it is really very much recommended whenever you write your tests or whenever you write some scripts, it is necessary for us to push some of the logs to console so that it is very easy for us to debug very, very big scripts okay hope you all understand how to debug in postman how to open postman console window and how can you analyze the information in postman console and how to clear the logs by using your clear button correct and then how can you push the different types of information like info warning errors right while writing your scripts so hope you all understand the concepts. So if you have any queries, please do post your comments in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. Please do subscribe to the channel 
click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you